As I uh, made uh, Zoom to models, and I show it uh, at the symmetric conference on page, what is it? Uh, 10. The <coughs> uh, Japanese uh, lady said, you should see Professor Miyazaki made uh, four dimensional uh, structure in Kyoto at the Museum of the uh, University of Kyoto. <laughs> As I asked uh, something in Kyoto about uh, Japanese uh, tradition, tradition, the uh, answer was, you should ask Professor Miyazaki <laughs> if you say sure. <laughs> that uh, means uh, he is a very huge person for me, and I think uh, you know him. And, uh, Thanks, lucky to uh, him, him uh, also here. Yeah. Ah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Chairman, uh, for my precise uh, introduction. And uh, uh, regrettably, I. Ah, ah. Regrettably, I cannot speak English. Uh, three-dimensional English is very difficult for me, uh, an old Japanese. And um, uh, from now, I must read my paper. Uh, excuse me. Uh, if any question, please say me multi-dimensional English, except three-dimensional English. Maybe two or one-dimensional English is much, be uh, much better for me, uh, for children. Uh, thank you. Excuse me. And uh, firstly, I show you an animated graphics as an introduction of my four-dimensional works from now, firstly. Ah, sorry. <laughs>
すみません、すげえ次です。ああ、サンキュー。ああ、サンキュー。ありがとうございます。あ、あ、あ。And from now,、uh, I must read my paper. Uh, I will extend two and three dimensional quadratic curves and surfaces in four and higher dimensional space along the way. The higher dimensional cube,、uh, no, conic sections will be considered. The resulting hyper surfaces have simple graphic、uh, properties next to hyper planes, so some of their regular projections into three space often show up in nature and are、uh, uh, sometimes used in art around us. I have much time and、uh, I read slowly. A two dimensional quadratic curve in this report means a curved one dimensional space given by a quadratic equation having two variables. They can be graphically grouped into the next three classes and one more additional degenerate,、uh, degenerate class. The first class for typical proper types, a circle as special ellipse and a hyperbola. The second class for a degenerate proper type, a parabola. The third class for a, for a radial type, mutually intersecting two lines. There is one more additional degenerate force class for a parallel type, mutually parallel two lines whose equation has only one variable. The pictures of this slide show projections onto two spaces of the first and second class, second class quadratic curves rotated in three or higher space. They get gradually slender and at last are compressed to linear figures as shown in the bottom row of the pictures. A three dimensional quadratic surface in this report means a curved two dimensional space. Given by a quadratic equation having three variables, they can be graphically grouped into the next four classes. The first class for typical proper types, a sphere as a special ellipsoid, a hyperboloid of one sheet, and a hyperboloid of two sheets. The second class for degenerate proper types, an elliptic paraboloid and a hyperbolic paraboloid. The third class for a radial type, a cone. The fourth class for a parallel type, a cylinder. There is the degenerate fourth class for other cylinders whose equation has only two or one variables. The pictures of this slide show projections into three space of the first and second class,、uh, class surfaces rotated in four or higher space. All of them are shown by two dimensional sections as quadratic curves. The projections get gradually flattened and at least. Are compressed to planar curved domains as shown in the bottom row of the pictures. A four dimensional quadratic hypersurface in this report means a curved three space 
ギブンバリアカドラティックイコーションハビングフォーバリアブルスゼアラフォアカインズノブクラシーズシミラーウィズアスリーディメンジョナルケースディススライドショープロジェクションズイントゥスリースペースオブザファーストクラスフォーティピカルプロパータイプスフロムレフトトゥライトアフォーディメンジョナルスフィアアズアスペシャルフォーディメンジョナルエリ,エリ,エリプソイドアフォーディメンジョナルハイパーボロイドオブワンシートアダブルハイパーボロイドオブワンシートアンドアフォーディメンジョナルハイパーボロイドオブトゥーシーツノブゼムザダブルハイパーボロイドオブワンシートハズノースリーディメンジョナルカウンターパーツオールノブゼムアレプレテンティットバイスリーディメンジョナルセクションズアズザスリーディメンジョナルファーストクラスカドレティックサーフェイシーズインクルーディングザサードクラスコーンフーズティピカルイコーションズアーションビローインパレンシーシス The four dimensional sphere is constructed of rotating three dimensional spheres in this figure. The four dimensional hyperboloid of one sheet is of three dimensional spheres and hyperboloid of one sheet. The double hyperboloid of one sheet is of hyperboloid of one sheet and the four dimensional hyperboloid of two sheets. Is of spheres and hyperboloid of two sheets. Please look uh, 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 slowly. These pictures show the second class for degenerate proper types. And the third class for radial conic types from left to right a four dimensional elliptic paraboloid and four dimensional hyperbolic paraboloid belonging to the second class and a four dimensional cone and double cone belonging to the third class. The double cone has no three dimensional counterparts. The typical equations of their three dimensional sections are shown below in parentheses. <laughs> Top row, the fourth class for parallel cylindrical types having four variables. Bottom two rows. The degenerate fourth class having not four but three or two variables. Not so complicated, very simple. The free hand isometric drawings shown up to this point were depicted by myself. 40 years ago, when there was no computer around me, I used the coordinate axis shown in the top row. The three dimensional version of the axis coincides with three axis of symmetry of a regular triangle. Similarly, the four dimensional version coincides. With four axis of three fold rotational symmetry of a regular tetrahedron. The method of projection of a point is shown in below. I devised these methods by myself because at that time there were no advisors nor books about four dimensional graphics in Japan. I usually use four dimensional isometric four axis derived from the regular dodecahedral projection of a regular dodecahedron. 
デライブドフロムザレギュラーデカゴーナルプロジェクションのバレギュラードデカヘドロン They are large O X O Y O Z and O U in the figure Four unit points are at four vertices of the ドデカヘドロン The true length in three space appears at O プライム U プライム as the elevation of the, of the U axis and the isometric projection into three space appears as the side view Uh, this, this is an isometric projection into three space. This is true length in three space. And please look at this data.、Uh, this slide uh, uh, does not appear in my proceedings paper. Only this、uh, slide、uh, I show you. Today, I have many colleagues who can use computer. The computer graphics of, gra uh, of uh, quadratic hypersurfaces shown from now on were programmed by them.、Uh, firstly, left four columns of this slide show rotation of the first class, and right four rotation of their half parts. From left to right, rotation of mutually、uh, metamorphosing four dimensional hyperboloid of two sheets, cone and hyperboloid of one sheet. Unlike the previous representation, the sections are not three dimensional spheres. But three dimensional hyperboloid of two sheets, cones, and hyperboloid of one sheet. This slide is something, something important, maybe. A four dimensional quadratic hypersurface can be represented by not only three dimensional sections as a quadratic surface, but also two dimensional sections as quadratic curves. This slide shows four dimensional spheres represented by two dimensional sections, not three dimensional sections, two dimensional sections as circles. Whose equation is shown below in parentheses. These circles construct various three dimensional t o r i put in four space. This is t o r i All are t o r i in three space. It is rotating in four space.、Oh. Something, something curious picture, but、uh, uh, three dimensional t o r i Top left, the axometric projection and the right perspective projection. Bottom, rotation in four, in four space of the half part. Shown by axometric projections. I needed many times to uh, uh, aware this projection. I, I'm not a mathematician, only I, I am an architect or an artist, and 
uh, I need uh, 20 years to, uh, to aware this uh, projection. Uh, this slide shows half part of the first class, rep first class represented by two dimensional sections as quadratic curves, whose typical equations are shown below in parentheses. In general, an n dimensional quadratic hypersurface can be represented by n minus 1 or lower dimensional sections. Of them, N minus one dimensional sections are usually used in this report because they include N minus two or lower dimensional sections. I cannot understand uh, 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 this pattern and this pattern. Uh, this, this pattern, this pattern, and also uh, this pattern. This is okay, but I uh, uh, cannot understand. But the, uh, uh, the student who wrote this uh, pattern said this is right. He is a, mathemat he is a mathematician. And this is right. And I show you. Three or four dimensional quadratic surfaces or hypersurfaces can be understandably represented by axonometric or perspective projections onto two or into three space. However, these projections are too intricate for representations of five or higher dimensional hypersurfaces. Instead, orthographic projection may become a powerful tool for the clearer and simpler representations of higher dimensional hypersurfaces. As shown in bottom left, the orthographic projection in three space means a pair of the plan F and elevation F prime. That is to say, as shown in the upper in XYZ space, the plan is an orthogonal projection onto XY plane, while the elevation is onto XZ plane. An orthogonal projection onto YZ plane is the side view Similarly, as shown in bottom right, the orthographic projection in whole space means a triplet of the plan, uh, plan Z elevation, Z prime, and four dimensional elevation, Z double prime. That is to say, as shown in the, in the upper in XYZ U space, the plan Z is an orthogonal projection onto XY plane. Z elevation, Z prime is onto XZ plane. While the four dimensional elevation, Z double prime is onto XU plane. Orthogonal projections onto the other coordinate planes are the side views. Hereafter, a plan is said a two-dimensional front view, an elevation, a three-dimensional front view, and a four-dimensional hyper-elevation, a four-dimensional front view. In general, an n-dimensional elevation is set an n-dimensional front view as a united terminology. These show orthographic projections of the three and four dimensional first class. The dotted circles show the circles inside and dotted quadrangles around hyperbola 
hyperbolas only show drawing areas. X axis is omitted. The equation of the outline of each front view of the 3D version is shown below in parentheses. The equations of that of the 4D version can be decided as well. Each pair of front views of the 4D version shows a three-dimensional quadratic surface whose axonometric projection is shown at the bottom of the 3D version. That is, a pair of two circles show, shows a sphere, a pair of a circle and a hyperbola shows a hyperboloid number one sheet and a pair of two hyperbola shows a hyperboloid of two sheets. These are something complicated for you because uh, this, uh, these uh, drawings are for us architects or uh, graphic uh, scientists and not so uh, general uh, patterns, patterns. This table shows the five-dimensional version. It is compiled following the above mentioned three and four-dimensional versions, both of whose projections are including in this table, also with the two-dimensional version. Similarly, we can depict orthographic projections of the arbitrary n-dimensional first-class hypersurfaces. Uh, hyper Following this table, uh, all of them are constructed by orthogonal projections of merely circles and hyperbola, hyperbolas. Uh, some exotic, exotic patterns which appear as front views of a rotating five-dimensional sphere. The numbers of n-dimensional quadratic hypersurfaces having n variables. The number of the fourth class enormously increases when these generate ones having n minus one or fewer numbers of variables are included. Now uh, I try to construct higher dimensional versions of the three dimensional conic sections. That is to say, in three space, all of the first, second, and third class quadratic curves can be derived as sections of a three-dimensional cone by two-dimensional space, as shown in this slide. Uh, these are famous pictures. This slide represents the four-dimensional conic sections derived from two kinds of four-dimensional cones, a hypercone and a double cone. They are cut by three space. Two row shows, uh, to, uh, excuse me, top row shows axonometric representations and bottom three orthographic uh, projections. All possible arrangements of the cutting through space are shown by the bold, line, bold lines on four-dimensional front view. Uh, this, this, uh, in this patterns. Uh, 
レフト3あレフト3あデライブドフロムはハイパーコーンアンドライトトゥフロムはダブルコーンフロムレフトトゥライトアスフィアハイパーボロイドオブトゥシーツエリプティックパラボロイドハイパーボロイドオブワンシーツアンドアハイパーボリックパラボロイドあデライブドウェンザセクションゴイズスルーゴイズスルーザバーテックスノブアイザーフォーディメンダルコーンアスリーディメンダルコーンアピアアズザレザルトオールノブザスリーディメンダルファーストセカンドアンドサードクラスクワダラティックサーフェイシスキャンビーデライブドアズセクションズバイスリースペースノブトゥーカインドノブフォーディメンダルコーンズバットナンノブザフォーディメンダルフォースクラスハイパーシリンダーズあデライブドイーブンヒイーブンイフゼイハブフォーバリアブルズイトイズサムシングインポータントポイントインゼネラルアンエヌディメンジャルコーンメイデライブエヌマイナスワンディメンジャルカドレティックハイパーサーフェイシスアズザアズジエヌディメンジャルコニックセクションズウェンイトイズカットバイエヌマイナスワンディメンジャルスペースジススライドショーズアウトラインのオーソグラフィックプロジェクションズノブザスリートゥシックスディメンジャルコニックセクションズオールポシブルアレンジメントノブザカッティングスペースアーションバイボールドオアダッシュドラインラインズオンイーチハイエストディメンジャルフロントビューズディスワンディスワンディスワンアンドディスワンアンドウィローパターンのオミティッドザザザプランアンドローアディメンジョナルフロントビューオミティッドアズエアズアレザルトアズアレザルトセクションズ By the horizontal and vertical spaces represent, represent all of the first class quadratic hypersurfaces and those by the oblique spaces represent, of, uh, present, uh, represent of the second class. The third class as n minus one dimensional cones. can easily be derived as a section through the vertex of any of n dimensional cones. However, none of the fourth, fourth class may be derived in this way. In other words, it is limited to the three-dimensional case that all of the lower dimensional cadric hypersurfaces can be derived as a conic section. It is limited to the three dimensional case. Ancient Greek mathematicians were familiar with merely the three dimensional conic sections. It is possible that they were also aware of the faults in the four or higher dimensional conic sections we have pointed out in this paper. That is, the decision to neglect them may have been an entirely conscious one. これもなもサムシング、えー、ああアペンディッ、えー、ディシス N ディメンジョナル、えー、N ディメンジョナルエスペシャリーフォーディメンジョナルカドレティックハイパーサーフェイシスハブシンプルグラフィックプロパティスそうざとサムノムズやレギュラープロジェクションズイントゥースリースペースオーフンショーアップインアートアンドネイチャーアラウンドアス This slide shows some electric lamps found in Japan, which unexpectedly present a four dimensional hypersphere and hyper cylinders. This,、uh, this slide, the example in nature, top Halley's comet, showing a four dimensional elliptic paraboloid 
ボトムレフト、ジーアースス、インサイド、クラスト、ショーイングはハイパースフィア、フーズセクションズ、アースリーディメンタルスフィアズ、アンザライト、ザ・バン・アレン・ベルツ、サラウンディング、サラウンディングジー、アウトサイドのジーアース、ショーイングはハイパースフィア、フーズセクションズ、アートゥーディメンタルサークルス。The last three slides show projections into three space of four dimensional uh, uh, various universes.、Uh, the most famous example shows four dimensional hypersphere imagined by extension of the three dimensional spherical Earth. The projection onto two space. Of a circular area on the earth, change the shape and position according to rotation as shown in left. That is, the light red size s are changed to a line at the bottom and top, and then to the left blue circular size. Similarly, the projection into three space of a sphere. Of a sphere, a spherical eye area on the four dimensional spherical universe, change the shape and position,、uh, uh, change the shape, shape and position according to rotation as shown in light. That is, the light red, the light red side,、uh, spherical size are、uh, changed to a plane at the bottom and top, and then to the レフトスフェリカルブルーサイズ。This slide shows metamorphosis of the Big Bang Universe, upper represented by spherical sections and lower low by hyperboloid and, hyperboloids and cones. Central column. column. The Big Bang Universe or Einstein's four dimensional light cone, light end, Einstein's universe, shown by the equation of a four dimensional hyperboloid of two sheets. If so, we can image the shape of a pre universe, shown by a four dimensional hyperboloid of one sheet, as shown in left end. It is only my imagination. And at last, maybe the most important slide. The remained four dimensional first class quadratic hypersurface is the double hyperboloid of one sheet. This is only one first class, which has no three dimensional version. According to Juan Martin Marda Sena, A physicist on elementary particles of Harvard University. This shape may indicate the new four or n dimensional universe. The paper, this paper by Marda Sena, published in 1998, has been including the general version. Of an n dimensional first class quadratic hyperboloid. The orthographic projection can be shown as in left end column. Only the two dimensional front view at the bottom is a circle, and all、uh, the other front views are hyperbola. The paper by Marda、uh, Sena is Number one of the top cited article, articles of all time for、uh, 2012 edition. And this universe may become very important, worthwhile to receive Nobel Prize in near future. That's all. Thank you very much for your kind attention.
in uh, one or two dimensional English, please. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you very much. Sorry. Ah, thank you.